everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because we are going to play with some new makeup, specifically the new Surratt Dew Drops Foundation. I have been waiting all week for these lovelies to show up. So I thought what we would do today is use this beautiful new foundation on my face as well as a few other things that I have picked up recently um, for fun and thought that we would go ahead do a little get ready with me on this lovely Friday. Um, so if you are interested in seeing how I got this look and how this foundation works on my more mature dry skin, um, then let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, I desperately need to put makeup on this face and I'm so excited about the new Surratt Dew Drops. I got these the other day and I will say I'm a little worried I got a, um, too light of a shade, but we can just make it work for today. So you guys, I got picked these up in shade number three, which is considered light with neutral pink undertones. Such a cool application. So you guys, they come in this lovely, beautiful little bottle just very compact and then it comes up here just like this so you've got a little dew drop here and then you come over here and you pour them out and you guys the texture whoops is amazing so i was kind of having a little bit of a hard time i was kind of going um couldn't decide between three and four and then i was also curious about maybe even getting something like six so we're just gonna try to see if these work. I'm gonna first show you here. You guys, the texture is nice and creamy, okay? I'm loving the texture. And then we're gonna just put this over here. And that's where I'm a little bit concerned. I think we can make this work, but if I go too light, I tend to look a little dead. So let's just hope that these oxidize a little bit. Here. Let's go ahead and take, put some of these drops on. And I admit, I played with these when I first got it and fell in love with this texture. It's just so pretty. I have the Surratt Little Wand Foundation, which I really like. Um, and I'm kind of thinking that this is sort of similar to that one as far as being skin-like, but in a better, uh, better system upon which to put these on. I'm going to just start down here, you guys. Yeah, they are looking a bit light on the skin, but let's see. These might be perfect for the winter months. While I am trying this on, I thought I would share a little bit of information about this lovely foundation. It is a natural looking coverage with a dewy hydrating finish. Um, this is unique delivery system to let you build up to the perfect level of coverage drop by drop. This is considered to be light to medium coverage, a dewy finish, and of course this is in a liquid formula. This innovative fine tip dropper packaging delivers the optimal amount of coverage every time you apply formulated to feel lightweight and natural on the skin while creating a lasting dewy finish. Now, as far as putting it on, it says to dispense one to two drops of foundation on the back of your hand and then using a dense foundation brush to sweep product onto the skin. Okay, you guys, this is basically one to two drops and I'm going to bring you up a little close as this was first put on, I was like, ooh, it's gonna be too light. I should have gone with like the medium one. But now that it is on my skin, it is such light to medium coverage that I'm kind of thinking it's not that big of a deal. I am going to pull this down a little bit on my neck because I don't want it to be totally like my head is light and then my neck, and you guys, my neck is always blotchy. So I will do a little bit of that pulling that down but so far i have to tell you you guys this feels like nothing on your skin super hydrating and obviously a very dewy healthy complexion look um kind of loving it <laughs> um, 
Um, I had watched Michelle's video and she was saying this was the best of the best. And so I was so excited to try these because we tend to like the same kind of foundations. I tend to like a little bit more coverage than she does. My skin is a bit older and blotchier than hers. So I think what I'm gonna do is just take one more little drop. We're gonna build up the coverage just a bit. And again, you guys, it's kind of cool. You just press the bottom and it comes out. And again, you guys, this just feels so creamy and lovely. It's just really kind of nice. So I tend to like to do a little bit more on my nose and my cheeks. I've got a bit of discoloration going on over here. And again, I don't want to put too much on, but I do want to kind of show you that this can build up. I am going to be pulling this down just to match everything. Just a little bit down my neck. This may not be, this is not quite dense, you guys. This is what I tend to use with all of my foundations, but I do have a bit of a denser um, brush. Actually, I'm gonna go grab. Okay, I grabbed my Westman Atelier because it is a little bit more dense, and we're just gonna kind of buff this into my skin. And it does look like you can build this up, you guys, without looking super cakey. That's just my first impression. It is a really dewy, pretty foundation. Now, obviously, this is going to be for someone that likes that fresh, dewy, kind of light to medium coverage. If you are looking for more full coverage, I don't think you're going to like this. This is like a couple drops, one layer, and then we put on one more drop and just kind of in the places where I felt I wanted to build it up. I am loving this foundation and how it is feeling on the skin and the coverage. Very healthy, very dewy. And then now we are gonna try a new concealer. I'm giving you a little sp um, a spoiler alert. I did pick up the new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Um, and of course, when I was there, there happened to be a Laura Mercier rep. She sold me on the concealer. Maybe something else too, but we'll do that in our next video. I am using the concealer in shade 2C. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit of this, guys. And yesterday when she used it, I really enjoyed it, but we're gonna see if this is gonna be one of these creasy ones. Okay, I'm gonna take my ring fingers. This 2C color has a bit of, a little bit kind of peach in it, a little like uplifting to the eyeballs. The one thing I noticed when she used this the other day is it just felt very light and lovely on my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, Okay, you guys, this feels wonderful on my face. And it, one thing I'm just noticing right away, no fragrance, there's no really irritating ingredients that I'm finding that I'm worried about with my skin. So I am loving that. <laughs> the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is just that it is a teeny smidge light for me. I felt like four was gonna be too peachy. So who knows, but I think we can work with this. Let's go ahead and bronze up my skin. I'm gonna be using the Capri Coast from Becca. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and let's see if we can kind of warm up my skin today. While we're here using the bronzer, you guys, I love to use this shade as kind of my eyeshadow, so quick and easy day. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss number 16, and I'm just gonna kind of put this on my eye. Just as an all over base color, we'll do a real simple eye today. We're gonna be using a new blush from Laura Mercier. You guys will get a kick out of this. The Laura Mercier rep was at Sephora 
And she was so funny. She was telling me that every woman over 45 needs to own chai. So I was like, well, but of course, I am definitely over, oops, uh, I am definitely over 45, but she just absolutely was going on about how women over 45 need to wear blush and look fresh and young. And so she put this on my face and you guys know I don't need another dusty rose blush, but you know what? We needed to have a matching Laura Mercier one. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on you guys. It is just a beautiful little uh, dusty rose, nice neutral shade. And she also put this on as eyeshadow. So we are gonna do that. She was telling me you need loads, you want your skin to look fresh and you need this blush. So and by all means, I was like, well, you know what? You are talking to the right woman because I of course will um, heed your advice. It is a really fresh kind of wonderful color and I've heard fantastic things about these blushes. So this is the matte version and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on my eyes as well. I like to do that anyways, you guys, but this was just this kind of quick and easy kind of um, eye. She was kind of just putting a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush right on the eye, which of course made me happy when you are in a pinch. This is just so easy. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter on you guys. I'm gonna use my favorite. This is from Chanel. This is in the uh, Duo Bronze at Lumiere and I love this shade over here. So we're gonna use a little bit of that just right on the high points. And I'm also gonna put a little bit up on my um, upper brow here which also kind of makes a pretty shimmer up there. Now for myself, I feel like I need eyeliner to kind of make my eyes look semi grounded. <laughs> so I'm going to put on a little bit of black wood. This is just a basic kind of deep brown um, eyeliner. Let's go ahead and put that on for a real simple look. I'm just putting that as close to my lash line as possible. Much better. <laughs> oh, then you guys, I like to line just my waterline a little bit with my favorite purple chalk. I just sort of feel like it brightens up the eyes a little bit. This could be totally optional for th those of you that do not wear eyeliner on the bottom of your eyes. I'm just gonna do a quick little line there. Okay, you guys, I need to go put loads of mascara on because obviously that will pop open my eyes. I'll be back and then we can do a quick lip. So today, you guys, we are gonna use a little bit of Chanel. We're gonna do this in honor of my sweet mom. She did pass on September 4th, and so many of you uh, reached out to me. I had posted this on my Facebook as well as my Instagram. And you guys, thank you so much for the all the support. This has been a, uh, kind of the last six weeks has been it was just really intense. She was diagnosed with um, several forms of cancer and six weeks to the date um, that she took her last breath. So we are so happy she is out of pain and we have created a, sorry guys, <laughs> thought I was better, but I'm not. Um, we are doing a really nice celebration of life for her next week. Um, and the girls, uh, my sisters and I, were all wearing matching Lily Pulitzer dresses and we're pulling out all the stops for Mama Bliss. So just thank you so much, you guys. Your support has meant the world for me. Um, and we are doing fine and we're just kind of moving forward and obviously not fine and this will be a grieving process, but um, we're truly like, it was just kind of rough the last couple weeks and so we're actually quite 
feeling um, some relief that she has finally been out of pain. So, okay, let's breathe, let's put on some lipstick and then look at this foundation. Okay, um, and you guys, makeup makes me happy. My mom loved makeup, so I think that this is only telling that we just get on and, and move on with life. She always was one of those who said she would never leave the house without lipstick. So, mom, putting my lipstick on for the day. This is a very Mama Bliss shade, so that's what we're going with today. Okay, let's bring you in close, you guys, and show you this foundation. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna bring you up so you can see and then I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, so thoughts right off the bat. I did put this on the other day to see how it would wear. And um, so you guys, it feels like absolutely nothing on your skin. It wears very well throughout the day. I did not feel like I was getting this in my uh, wrinkle zones that it, that it was just kind of sitting there. It, it just basically kind of melds in with your skin. It is very dewy. Oh, speaking of dewy, we should powder down the T-zone. Oof, almost forgot an important part. That would be the one thing I would say. Um, this foundation is dewy and kind of wonderful. So if that's what you're looking for, you are going to love this. And out of all the ones that I have tried recently, of the dewy kinds, I would prefer this one because of the way it feels on my skin and that there's no irritating fragrance in it. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and we are going to set this with, I'm using the Veil Hourglass. And I'm just gonna kind of buff all the rest of this together so I don't look too made up. <laughs> okay, now we have powdered down, you guys, right through that T-zone. And so what I would tell you, you guys, is um, this is a fabulous foundation. If you are looking for something skin-like with more of a light to medium, it can be built up, I would say, to a light medium. I wouldn't go all the way to medium. Um, if you're looking for something like that and you can find your right shade, then that is going to be amazing. I do have to say as far as the shade range, it is an expanded shade range for Surratt. But again, this is something I had to order online. So I was kind of picking, in, uh, picking this blindly. This comes in 20 different shades. It does seem to have some deeper shade range, so that's nice, but it basically has got different undertones, you guys, starting with kind of the yellow undertone, beige undertone, uh, peach undertone, as well as a pink undertone, okay? Then as we're getting into the deeper shades, we've got the honey ochre with golden undertone, amber with a golden undertone, bronze with a golden undertone, medium bronze with a crimson undertone, uh, warm brown with a neutral undertone, rich brown with a yellow undertone, and then deep chocolate with a neutral undertone. So here's what I would say. They definitely have expanded the range and because it is that sheer medium kind of coverage, it's not gonna be hit or miss as far as being perfect. So I think that you will be able to find something that might work with your skin tone. Now, you guys, I always have to ask you, do we think this is too light? Let me know. <laughs> um, that is my question, because otherwise I am absolutely loving this foundation. I am so excited. Um, about this release and it just feels so good on the skin. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. As always, I am going to be doing more of an update and in-depth video of like all my top rankings of the new releases lately. So just know that when I do that, you'll hear a little bit more about wear time and such, but I just wanted to pop on 
kind of show you this in action um, because you know what this is a really nice foundation and I know many of you were like please 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 review that I will also put down in the description box um, any more details like if it's broken up or anything towards the end of the day but as of yesterday it had not um, this is not claiming to be a super long wearing foundation I tend to wear my foundations anywhere from like um the most i usually wear my foundations is about 12 hours so longevity is not always the what i'm looking for um this to me would feel like more of a day-to-day -day kind of lovely healthy skin looking foundation so i will be back with some new videos i'm not sure how many i can get up before i leave but then when i get back you guys i have got some loads of of fun content for you, makeup that I can't wait to share with you as well as some of the other videos that we've already discussed. So again, thank you so much for everything and I will talk to you 